Welcome back to Your Anime Senpais. I'm John. And I'm Richard. And we're going to continue today talking about the top 10 anime tropes that we're thankful for. Mm -hmm. So, Richard, I'm kind of... I know we're we're older men. Yeah, we're old. We're we're not we're not as young and spry as we used to be. Yeah. Kind of got a little gray, you know, randomly popping mm -hmm. in. But but let's talk about the older men in anime that are overpowered. They're mm -hmm. super powerful. They are the ones you don't want to mess with. And for some reason, age equals more power for them. Well, because you know, the older you are, the more experience you have, the more knowledge you have, and knowledge is power, sir. The more you know. Mm. So let's get right into it. Super powerful old men. What's a good anime example that you think of whenever you think of this trope? I mean, there's there's plenty of examples. Let's be honest. I mean, oh, old yeah. guys all over anime. Uh, not necessarily super <laughs> powerful, but uh, the one that popped into my mind almost immediately was Yamamoto, Captain Commander Yamamoto from Bleach. Oh yeah. Uh, so he's the head of the, um, the Soul Society uh, captains and. I'm not going to go too much into spoilers, but to simply say that this guy controls fire is, like, just... it's That's an understatement. Like, I mean, taking not even taking into account his uh, Shikai and his Bankai, like, he's just powerful in general. But then you throw those two things in there, and he's just insanely good. Like, I don't even know how anyone could even one-up him, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's immediately who I think of. He's just... Like, if I could be trained by any of the old old guys that we talk about, I mean, he I would not mind him being my teacher. <laughs> Although, he would probably, like, uh, be, like, insanely intense. So, I don't know. Maybe not. But, uh, John, what do you think? Uh, well, I'm going to have to default to uh, the man, the original man. The man, the myth, the, the legend? The man, the myth, the legend of anime. Mm. Uh, Master Roshi. Oh, yeah. And... Uh, the, the more he's in the show, I don't even know how old he is. Now. He's hundreds of years old. Yeah, yeah he's pretty old. Uh, I don't even know. He might be eternal. I don't know. Maybe he uh, got his wish from uh, the Dragon Balls years ago, and we just never were told. Oh, uh, he um, he drank <laughs> something, didn't he? Like he. The... Oh yeah, I think it did kind of allude yeah, to that one yeah, time, yeah. but yeah. but anyway, but something. Um, but anyway, as old as he is, he he hasn't slowed down. No. He uh, in Dragon Ball Super, they kind of. Uh, kept him current. They they allowed him to kind of almost go toe to toe with uh, Goku. Mm -hmm. In was it in Ultra Instinct form? Uh, well, in the manga, he he um, kind of tapped into something very similar to Ultra Instinct, and he actually held off uh, Jiren for even just a few moments. But uh, that that in itself is pretty impressive. Of course, yeah. he couldn't hold it for very long because he is an old guy, and he was. I think it was pretty late into the tournament. Uh, the uh, uh, Universal Tournament Survival Arc, mm -hmm. um, and you know he he was already pretty worn out. And he's an old guy. He's not got that much stamina anyway. So, but but yeah, he's yeah he's been he, he's pretty powerful, yeah. and he's got those techniques like he pulled out the Mafuba right that hadn't been a thing since Dragon Ball. Like whenever they pulled that in Dragon Ball Super, I was like, oh, yep, that was a pleasant surprise. Mm -hmm. But you know, and, that's you know, uh, honestly even back in Dragon Ball. Uh, blew up a mountain, uh, <laughs> yeah. blew up the moon. So, I yeah. mean, you know, he's he's definitely got a lot of power in there. I mean, you know, besides him being just a pervy old guy that's on the island, like, he can bulk himself really, you know, a lot and then just, you know, use the Kamehameha, which he he's the one that developed and mastered that. So, uh, I mean, he's... Everybody he, in the DBZ universe should be thankful for that right yeah yeah so but but yeah he's he's crazy he's crazy powerful for sure so yeah so this is just another example uh in the comments down below share some uh super powerful old men with us and other people yeah. and uh hopefully we've introduced you to another set of animes that you need to watch another trope that uh you can talk about and uh we'll see you back tomorrow whenever we introduce another trope yeah. So, yeah, that's possibly the best anime I've ever seen. The best. Yeah, the best. You need to check it out. Okay, you know what? I'll check it out right this second. Oh, right well, now, let's right? Let's go watch it then. Yeah, you know what? Let's go watch it, guys. Yeah, let's go. Oh, hey. If you like this video, go down there and hit the like button. And you know what? While you're there, there's a subscribe button. 
and a notification button so whenever we post a video, you guys will be notified. Yeah, and even further below that's our comment section. So go down there, share your thoughts on this video, and uh, let us know what you thought about it, and give us some feedback. Yeah, but please uh, just keep the spoilers to a minimum, please. Yeah, and thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.